Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we found our way into Kakariko Village for the first time in this Let's Play, and we got a heaping host of quests pretty much immediately after it. It would seem that the bulk of that episode was mostly the starting of said quests, and hopefully this episode is going to be the finishing of at least one of them. The one that I am pursuing right now is the Codger's Quarrel. There are some dudes that left the village to go deal with some monsters. If we check the adventure here real quick, uh, it says in the hills west of the village. So I am not going west, as you might imagine. I'm not going any cardinal direction specifically. In fact, I am just ascending, which is the forbidden cardinal direction. You think of north, south, east, and west. Oh, but that's not all. We have up, my favorite direction. Uh, so west of village so it looks like we're we're pointed towards the west we even have a tower that direction and it said in the hills so maybe that means the ricola oh ricoca <laughs> ricola no sponsorship was available they decided to go with ricoca it's fine it's fine i don't need any cold medicine anyways uh these are hills, but I don't think we're yet west of the village, so we'll press on a little bit further, garnering some fungus along the way. And I do suppose we could have just warped to this shrine that we completed last episode, but what fun would that be? We would have missed out on all of these delicious little pieces of mushroom action, and of course the silent princess that we picked up in between the last two mushrooms as well. Hmm. Though I'd have to hope that we do also... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I didn't see that when I was exploring Kakariko yesterday. That's worth a slight detour. Lord knows that we need all of the Zonai devices we can get. And I don't know what this one's going to give to us, but we do have a good amount of charges, so I think experimentation is in order. Where, where are my other charge at? What? What? Oh, it's sorted by most used. That throws me off every time, and I'll be like, hmm? I swear I had a bunch of them. <laughs> you don't tell me why I was off screen. Link saw fit to ditch them all. Uh, question mark. We got a stabilizer, which we learned to use in that shrine just here. Balloons. Very good. Big wheels. Fans. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Goodness gracious. If only we could find some flame emitters. And I do know that if I pull up the map, it will show us this and it'll tell us like what it has. So I could go back to other machines that we've used that have dispelled the flame emitters, that have emitted the flame emitters, huh? Yeah, you see? <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna press forward until we absolutely need them. Oop, 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 that a, that's a shrine we've done, isn't it? Yes, it is in fact the Morok Shrine, and I'd be a Morok if I went over there myself right now. Another one of the quests that we took upon ourselves last episode in our talkings with all the locals here in Kakariko was the Reading of the Ruins. And this looks, well, relatively ruinous, if I do say so myself. So maybe we can kill two birds with one stone here? I don't care how many times you say it. The best defense is a good offense. It's still nonsense. And now look at us. It's late at night. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of these monsters. And we won't st as long as you keep turning <laughs> upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. And it's hard to read because my kitten is in front of the monitor. You stubborn old codger. Yeah, look who's talking. Ah, so we stumbled upon the codgers that were quarreling unwittingly. It's a good thing, too, because I was about to sail off into the distance, into the abyss, and we got an iron shroom for the first time. Wow, amazing that that's the first time we've received one of them. I would have thought and for sure we would have had one by now, but I'm well familiar with their properties from my experiences in Breath of the Wild, so we will not take the time to read it. An iron shroom does exactly what it sounds like. Gives you iron in your diet and boosts your defense. Good grief. Those two really don't get along. You know what I mean? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> those, those, those two right there? Oh. The ones that are probably hear us talking about them? I mean, those two squabblers right there. I went to investigate the ring ruin nestled in these hills, but some monsters have set up camp there. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighters, so I asked them to clear out the monsters. But this is all they do. Uh. There's a stone slab in the nestled ring ruin inscribed with Zonai writing. What if the monsters destroy that priceless artifact? Oh, why did I ask those two for help? I mean, no, in your defense, Drenja, 
I'd say that the people competing to be the strongest warrior are probably a good bet for, uh, you know, helping you with monsters. That being said, they look more like, instead of competing to be the town's best fighters, perhaps they're competing to be the, the town's best, uh, I don't know, Werther's original chewers. <laughs> Gummers, even. They look like old men, and there's nothing against old men, goodness gracious. I'm nearly an old man myself at 30 years old, but I don't necessarily think that people of their age, being like, mm, I don't know, goodness, close to 60, perhaps, are probably the best fighters at all, really. If I could, you know, shed some light on the situation here, Link, while he is old, technically, I guess he's like a hundred something years old, he's got the body of like a 25 year old. He's a spry young man and he's ready to do all he can. Uh, ooh, 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 we got a, we got a new shield here, a royal shield. Mmm, and royal it is. My cousin Balin would give us a royal shield. And he calls it to mine. 55! A shield issued to Hylian Royal Family's immediate guard detail. It boasts a high defense, but these days it's more of a collector's item due to its ornamentation. Well, I'm gonna take that. Uh, yes, please. That's better than anything I have. And we're gonna get rid of the knight shield, a royal one, and a spiked iron ball hammer. It doesn't tell me how good that is. It's worse off than what we're holding presently, but is it worse off than the thunder? It is worse off than that. Uh, we have a lot of things we need to fuse with. Undoubtedly, it's better than this hammer. We'll grab that. I'm curious. It's a 19. That's not very good. It's got a royal broadsword, though, which is... Pretty solid, it's a 10. Eh, let's equip this one, this one's about to break. Uh, we'll potentially consider defusing that and fusing it with something else, but we've gotta deal with these fellas. Fe fella, singular fella, hello, where are you going? Come back here, you wanna punch my friend? Goodness gracious, <laughs> he ran right by Link, he's like, I got no quarrel with you, but that Zora, that Zora smells like fish and I don't like it. Well, it goes to show you, he got the special tuna-flavored Old Spice on, all right? It's limited edition. Giant Bright Bloom Seed times five. That's helpful. I do appreciate that. I prefer the giant ones, really. Um, got some notes here to read. The stone slab of the Nestled Ring ruins some translation notes. By Toro. Those who most elite among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth sages. Clearly, the sages are the subject of this slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. I think that's a, a good guess, dude. Is this the slab right here? Get up here and read it. Everyone knows the best way to read something is to rub your body upon it. Uh, maybe we should take a photo. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Sidon, you know, I get, I'm fine. Sidon wants a selfie. There we go. Uh, it didn't bring anything up. I'll keep the photo, but ordinarily, in my experience from Breath of the Wild, and as well as earlier on in this game when we were in the depths for the first time taking a photo of the statues for, uh, shoot, not Pura, but Pura's assistant. I forgot her name already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been so long already. Uh, anyways, we took a photo and it brought up like a little quest emblem thing. We'll keep the Moblin hammer to bust on this and bust the hammer to boot. Ooh, but we got a chest. What did we sacrifice the hammer for? But a mighty Zonite sword with an attack up plus six. That's pretty solid, especially if we have a good thing to fuse it with. And we don't, but maybe if we eliminate... Well, I guess a Soldier Construct 4, the Captain Construct 3 would actually probably be pretty solid with that in conjunction, would it? Let's, let's do that. Let's put that down. It's already relatively blade-like, which tickles my fancy. And this is equipped. Excellent! It's even better. Equip it, bringing us to a 51 one-handed and probably one of the more sword-like weapons that we have. Everything else just looks like you got lost in a Michaels and started gluing things together, which isn't inherently bad, as you can tell. These things are strong. While we're on the subject of fusing, though, why not? Why not? We haven't used the silver boss bokoblin horn yet. I think it'd be a good idea to fuse it to this turkey leg here. That's a 57. And that's pretty offensive looking. Goodness gracious, it looks kind of like a grinder, though. Uh, 57, we've got a 19 here, which maybe would have been a good idea to use that with as well. Let's do it. You know, let's we'll, we'll get rid of both of them. I know ordinarily I'd like to keep one of everything, but I'm feeling spicy today, all right? We've got some really good one-handed weapons. And finally, the turkey leg. Uh, let's make something different out of this. I guess we'll use the silver moblin horn so it's a hammer. We've got some slicers, some dicers, and some altogether very nicers. And undoubtedly... Uh, with the combination of all of those rhyming words, we're going to eliminate some poor, helpless enemies. Unless, of course, we've 
dealt with them all? There's no way. No way, right? They said there's a monster infestation. Dude, it was like three bokoblins. You kidding me? You just toss a couple of fire fruits in here and be done with it. A spring, a platform, and a balloon, and the, the horns of our fallen enemies. Arrows, most importantly of all. Flame emitter. Hello. Well, we could make a balloon from here. We could make a balloon with a friggin' rocket, too. Okay, well, we could do a lot of crafting here. I don't... Let me check my adventure log. Did that count as a trip through history? No, you have four more to tell them about. Um... I feel like this was one of them, though. Like, I feel like that was a slab, though we didn't get to read it. We didn't get to update that quest. Let's talk to the codgers once more. Oh, I can't believe it. Don't make me blow wind at you. What? You have defeated all the monsters. Who are you? I'm... Link, that was some kind of fighting he did there, Oaken. Oh. It sure was a firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. I have it wrong all these years. Is it plain as day now? You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. Well, I mean, that kind of ah. goes without saying. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're gonna get hurt or worse. Ah. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it's too late. We need a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Oaken knows a thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you can learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Mm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest we head back to the village. Ah. Right. I bet my Trissa's store is running low on goods right about now. People must be in deep need. You know, gentlemen, I do appreciate the compliments, but I don't necessarily consider myself very good with the defense either. I do kind of just go in guns a blazing, swinging and swinging, so. <laughs> well, now that you've chased off the monsters, I can go back to investigating the stone slab. Thank you. Tell me about oh. this slab. This is one of the five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all broken open except for the floating one within the village itself. When that happened, chambers with stone slabs were exposed. These slabs provide rare examples of Zonai writing. Ah. Someone placed them very carefully. They must have been important objects. I can't believe I get to study them. Toro's translated a bit of it already. This particular stone slab seems to detail requirements for becoming a sage. Apparently, not only did you need to be exceptional in some way, you also needed a full head of hair and a secret stone. <laughs> I'd never heard these secret stones before reading this. So there's still so much mystery in the world. If you want the exact text, you can read the translation next to the stone slab. Aww. It must have been important. It's a shame we don't yet know what they meant by sage and secret stone. Well, I might have an idea. Uh, so did I... I'm going to run back here real quick. But maybe after having cleared this out and speaking to Mr. Dredger there, we've triggered something to where we can retain this knowledge. Um, no, this is nothing different and nothing was updated. No quest was updated. I feel like this is part of what we wanted to do. Not 100% certain. Let's double check the adventure law of Codger's Quarrel. Can, uh, we can go back to Trissa and collect a reward from that. And then perhaps we can also go talk to our friend about the tablets. Maybe. Um, at the very least, though, that is going to be something I continue to uh, work towards. As I mentioned last episode, we started a number of quests, that being one of them. That's the one I'm going to continue working on. I really would like to help the old grandma with her porridge request, but I still haven't found the merchants selling the rice or the milk. Keep an eye out, of course, but I'm not necessarily going to be able to like, work towards that, right? Like, how, I, I don't know. Southern Eastern Ring Ruin Research Journal. Corey. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held the stone slab with Zonai inscriptions. Curiously, we discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we'd never seen. Reference in ancient texts revealed that it was a sundelion, a plant long thought extinct. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. No pun intended. Note, our investigations of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. Yeah, I investigated that, all right? I got that thing functioning. It's nice and lubricated and ready for you to, uh, to check it out again. In fact, if you were being so kind as to come watch me, you know, uh, treat with it, I would show you a thing or two. Just like I showed the friend over at, well, I guess it was the Hudson Construction site. I wanted to call it Terrytown, but it's not yet a town. This looks like another site for one of these. Indeed it is. So here's this. The stone slab at the Southern Ring Ruin. Some translation notes by Toro. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together? King. There were. Known as sages. What I take from this is that it's all about a face facet of Hyrule and as, as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it would go something like, there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. 
Sure, sure. I'm gonna take a photo of this one as well, even though I still am not 100% certain that that's actually doing anything. It's just kind of, you know, to, to base off my checks, to cross off my T's and dot my I's and send the pigs home to roost or whatever the saying is. Anyways, I just want to make sure that I don't have to actually come back to these locations. Um, but yet, I still may. Did we go in there? I don't want to miss anything. Let's ascend real quick, just to get to the top of here. I wanted to climb it, but obviously, as you can tell, the sky is propelling moisture down upon us, which is great for the crops, of course, but not necessarily for Link. He is a crop. He's the Goron's special crop, but he's not, you know, he's not a growing young lad anymore. Like we said, he's in his mid-twenties, presumably. He's about all grown out. Any, what, what, where are the other ones? Is that one right there? I'm gonna mark a couple. So there's four total. We've Scene two, presumably. That may be a third. That one? Maybe a fourth? I guess that's kind of next to it, so we'll count that as one. And then there's that one. And then there's one underneath it. There's a lot. There's five. One of them does not count. And then, of course, there's the... Oh, that is the big one. The big stone donut. The stone nut, if you will. Where is Trisha? She was over by the shops, which I believe is this building right here. Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. And maybe her her stock won't have updated by now, will it? No, I guess the old men had all of her friggin' goodies inside their pants while they were battling the enemies. Because nothing helps you defeat some heinous beast like a pant full of friggin' pumpkins. Right? I mean, I don't know. I guess I've never gotten into any fights with any significance. But if I ever, if I ever get in any fights... I'll make sure I got a big old friggin' pumpkin in my back pocket. I mean, that'd probably deter the fight. They'd be like, man, what is going on with you? <laughs> you got you got big, swollen... Um, mm -hmm. You've got some stock back in, so it's happy days all around. Yeah, it reminds me. Please take this. Endure a carrot. Well, that would be great if I was still looking to please uh, Melania, the horse god. Ah. But alas, I am not. I will, however, oh. Trissa, thank you for the gift and maybe buy some butter? You got any milk or rice? I notice you're out of eggs now. What's up with that? You eat it while you're waiting? Nothing like a nice raw egg snack, hmm? Rocky Balboa. Uh, so that's the arrow store. We already patronized them. That's the inn. I already checked them out. We went in there. <laughs> uh, let's check our map real quick. So the two ring ruins we want to investigate, well, three technically, are right up here. We're not going to get yelled at if we try and speed walk over this, are we? We are! The cuckoos don't like it. They said, get out, Link. Oh, they said it aggressively, too. They said it with their whole chest and their beaks and their talons. Oh, my! Goodness gracious. And the old lady's like, that's what I thought. Get. Get out of here. Get. <laughs> Surprised? I've been training cuckoos to attack people in that all the time. If you heard of guard dogs, we'll try guard cuckoos. Hurting my garden isn't a mistake someone will make more than once. <laughs> no, indeed. You are insane, and I fear you. A gift from the heavens! Hey, it's the, the Codgers. You're the one who helped us defeat the monsters. I have to thank you for bringing a geezer like me to my senses and changing my voice every time you speak to me. I talked everything out with Steen, and I understand now he's just a bold sort. Charges ahead, changes ahead, charges ahead, makes his own way. We spend all hours discussing the merits of pumpkins and of carrot. What? What are the merits of pumpkins? <laughs> How do you, okay, what are you doing your thing? By the way, during our talk, Steen and I came up with a method of attacking while defending. Uh, what, like a parry? Uh, tell me real quick, like, yeah, no, I get it. I know it. Yep, yep, yep. I appreciate you guys for, you know, filling me in, but by the point in time where I have reached this area, I have, well, not necessarily figured everything out, but I've figured at least the ins and outs of combat out, I like to think. Um, is it up there? It is assuredly not up there. It is to our left. But what is, what is this? I thought... There's ring ruins here. Is this... Oh, the scaffolding goes up. Let's go up here and check this out. Hold on, though. Hold on, hold on. Um, This is not... Is this, is this where we just were? Yeah, I think this is where we just were. Okay, so I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know where I'm going. I'm not lost. Not in the slightest. Goodness gracious. 
And now we just need to go up this pathway. It would seem that this is the one pathway that's actually going to lead us to at least two of the three ring ruins that we want to investigate. Of course, only two of the three ring ruins are actually ring ruins that we want to ring ruins. Check out ring ruins. How many times can we fit that into a sentence? Ring ruins. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. We'll backtrack, of course, once we're complete with this one. And then we will hopefully have everything we need from the ring ruins. Bees. Bees! You guys shouldn't be about. It's raining. Give me my arrow back and my course of bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Very good. It also replenishes uh, two hearts raw. Presumably double that when cooked. So that's altogether a great ingredient, if I do say so myself. And the rain stopped. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh. Hi there. You come all the way out here to see the rig ruins? <laughs> I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm or get personal with any gloom. <laughs> if you can't help yourself gloom-wise, look for our resident gloom specialist, Eba, by the tents. Anyhow, the chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone slabs and the ring ruins. Can't replace those. <laughs> uh, did you know five? Count them. Five ruins fell around here. They're called the ring ruins. We discovered stone slabs inside four of them. Yep, yep, yep. Got them all. Thank you very much. I do understand. But look, you, what, you got gloom caged up here? What? Was it going to run away? Is it sentient? I thought it was just... Shoot, I don't know. I don't even know what I thought of it. Maybe it was fungal, kind of? What's up, friend? To think that a chasm would open so close to a village. That warrants constant observation. Zalus is the leading ring ruins investigation, so that leaves me free to focus on gloom. <clears throat> Watch it! Mm. Huh? And please don't startle me. Oh, that was close. I could have fallen. Huh? I'm a specialist in gloom, not defying gravity. One false step, and that's the end of my research. Now, what brings you here? Have you come for a professional consultation on gloom, perhaps? Uh, where's the inn owner? Huh? The inn owner? Ah, oh, the spicy, I think, er, spacey. He's also rather spicy. He keeps cursing under his breath. He made the beds recently, but I haven't seen him since. Perhaps he is down to that way. Oh. Well, I, well, I was at that tent, dude. No one was there. He said he'd have an easy time finding it because the buzz are ruins on the spot. Oh. I wonder if he made it. It looks like he was about to fall asleep. Oh. Goodbye. Uh -huh. I almost fell. Uh, he didn't make it over there. Unless, of course... Us speaking to Eba somehow triggers this dude being there. How's the zoom on our camera? Can we? It's awful. Okay, no, we can't see. But we'll check that out after we've fully assessed these ring ruins, which seem to be uh, one of the four. Of course, this will be the third of four, bringing our total to 75%. And here, indeed, is what we're looking for. Goodness gracious, you guys scare me. Okay, uh, translation, Toro. Go. The stone slab of the eastern ring ruin. Some translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time, light. Who holds the power? Secret stone and that person dwell within power. Amplify. Great might display. The thrust of the message on this slab is about something called secret stones. Those who hold powers such as the wind, flame, water, lightning, and light, and time amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. That's what I'm guessing it would say if I could read. Very good. Well, I appreciate that. And, of course, keeping in line with the last couple, we're going to take a quick snap. Mm -hmm. Quick snap, right? Of the stone monument itself. Okay, so one more, perhaps, if I'm, in fact, doing these correctly. And, goodness gracious, I'm crossing my toes, fingers, eyeballs, and the whole kit, cat, and caboodle that I am doing these correctly. But I suppose we'll figure that out uh, <laughs> when we get to it. So, what, this one is the final one? The big one? The one we're not allowed to get into? Or is it this? It's hard to tell. There's just, like, ruins everywhere, and it's not really, I don't know, at least to me, not well-defined what is or isn't important. Although I do suppose that the important ones thus far have had NPCs around them, so that might be a, uh, a big tip-off that this right here is just junk. There ain't no NPCs caring about this one, so we're going to move on. Over here, there's some scaffolding. I mean, someone built this, right? Yeah, we're floating in there. Hey, you there. 
Come down here. Oh, you no, don't make me go down there, dude. I worked so hard to get, oh, you, you, you are gonna get a friggin' splash fruit right on your friggin' forehead, all right? You upset me. You don't bring me down here. You get out of here. Yeah, that's what I think. Anyways, I guess we're down here now, which is close enough to this. I, I suppose I'm still gonna warp anyways. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine, right? We've got 30 to 40 minutes to do whatever we please. As long, of course, we make some semblance of progress, I am fine. And I hope you're fine with it, too. Goodness gracious knows that I don't ask that near enough. I do end every episode saying that I hope that you enjoyed yourself, but I don't necessarily ever ask if you're enjoying yourself. I suppose if you're watching, I have to assume that you might be at least a little bit. And hey, nope, there's not. I saw this thing and I was like, it's a person. It's not a person. The dude is not here. The dude is not here. So somewhere between the last place and this place is where he's at. I mean, that would put him in town, would it not? Let me check my adventure log real quick to see what that uh, changed, if at all. Out of the inn, right? Uh, it seems the owner had gone out to change the server team's veggies. Uh, oh, they're in four different areas. I see. I see. Okay, so he could be at any number of the campsites. Not at that one. Um, well, shoot, dude. Where's the other ring room? We can't go touch that one. That one's being guarded by that curmudgeon. And Toro now, apparently. Um, so I guess over here. This is the big one. I thought the big one would be off limits, but apparently the big one's fine. It's interesting to me. Why is that not the significant one? Hmm. Ooh, is this going to be fine? Eh, this is going to be fine. We'll be able to ascend, right? Very good. Probably barely, though. That definitely seemed like it was on the cusp of not working out for us. And it looks like we're going to have to do it one more time, just to get properly situated here. Very good. I suppose I could have just warped back to the shrine, but what fun would that have been? I mean, it would have been more efficient, so I guess that's kind of fun in and of itself, right? But hey, it's fun to use Ascend, right? It's a good time. It's a great technique. It's a technique I would love to use in my day-to-day -day life if I had it, man. You'd catch me coming up through the floorboards, freaking my wife and my cats out. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Oh, you're pooping? Surprise! I made coffee. Um, I guess we'll continue climbing. There's probably a better... Mm, yeah, we'll go this way. I was like, there's probably a better way to get there than scaling the side of the mountain. That's something over there? Take a break right here before we turn around and look. Uh... No, I think that's just ruins. Okay, we're here. This is... Particularly ruinous as well. I need to get up in this. That's a quick little ascend. Yeah. I suppose it may have been quicker to do it a different way. I don't know. Either which way, though, this also seems to have some tent. Oh, look at that. Is that the inn owner? <laughs> I love you, hearty truffle. Talk to me. Wake up. Please, wake up. So Guru's not far off, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, well, I'll be the one who gets it. This dude is literally sleeping on an artifact. Just roll him off, man. Stone slab? Ah, yes. Stone slabs are, well, slabs. Like the one this guy's sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruins, and the leader is able to read writing, and there we go. It's all these things that we're already particularly aware of. Tell me about the dude that's sleeping. Mm. It worries him out of this discovery. Talks about a demon's king return, and the upheaval just happened. Oh, the, de the demon king is back, dude. Demon King is here. Um, where's the inn owner? Uh, yeah, the inn owner is him! That guy there! He came to change our beds, and then I realized he'd fallen a sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. I tried shouting and shaking. Nothing. Aww. What's more, he decided to doze off on top of this priceless slab. He's been saying stuff about truffles. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. I wonder if he'd wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. But it's hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. If I did find one, however... It was bobbing along under that waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped the truffle there or it floated in from somewhere else. <sighs> I've got to do something about this guy soon, though. Seguro's in the ruins above, and he'll be back here eventually. Well, I think I have one. I think I have one. Is this a rare instance of my insistence on keeping one of everything I find? Usually one of everything I find. Is it going to pay off? Or did I cook it? Did I cook it? I have a big hearty truffle. I cooked the regular one. You don't want a big one, do you? The big one's not the same, is it? Huh? 
My feet are, you kidding me, Gordy? Gordy, this dude's whole friggin' body is on it. I'm trying to help you get him off, and you won't even let me touch my feet to it. Boy, I tell you what, you gonna hmm. get, you gonna get a, you gonna, you gonna get a splash fruit too. All right, you gonna get a splash fruit too. Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe this counts. You smell that? That smell good? That, that's oh. a big one. It's right on your face. You better smell it. <laughs> a gentle aroma with a strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. <laughs> you better you better appreciate that too, because that's a good item. Uh, was that just a dream? And, and where am I? Oh. That's right, I was changing the beds. Uh, anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Oh, man, that traveler's going to be pissed. Sure. Oh, and I get my truffle back. Thank goodness gracious. Uh, here's this, and we probably get to read the stone slab at the large ring ruin. Some translation notes by Toro. The demon king, the vast power, no hope. Victory, king's own life, managed, imprison him. Imprison, not indefinitely. Be prepared. Demon, revival. We sages must leave our knowledge, future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. But the sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. Very good, very good. And of course, as is custom, a photo. Uh, I hope you're not shy there, buddy. I did, in fact, get the uh, your profile in it, so, you know, well, that's okay. Uh, hey, what? this is a map. The big old person. Is that where we're at? Uh, no, that, that looks like a zoomed-in map, like a map of a particular location. Maybe this note has something to say. There are five ruins around the village. Uh, parts of it have collapsed. It's the only ruin to retain its circular shape is with the other ruins. A stone slab was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent. Yes, right here. And the rain has returned. Goodness gracious. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Ugh. It's raining and pouring, and presumably some old man somewhere is snoring, but we are not snoring because things are never boring when we are abhorring the weather. Isn't it abhorrent? It's awful. Anyways, we are at the... No, okay, we've got more. I was like, this is it. This is the top. Where's Seguro? Eh. Rain in my eye. What did Pura send you? I'm Seguro. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all those fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? Huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team. This is an official ring ruin search site. Research site. It's dangerous for civilians. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. Um, yeah, it's fine. I think I've got enough information on the on the Sky Islands. I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. What? What do you mean by that? Upgrade the balloon. Fascinating. Anyways, though, like I said, I kind of have a good amount of experience with the Sky Islands. Not to be insulting or anything, but frankly, I'm not certain there's anything you could tell me there, Seguro, that I would not already know. So, it looks like we have accomplished the inn in the trip through history. Uh, Mired and Muck, what is that? Baz is safe, overjoyed, new friend freedom. He offered to give you Zora Spear. Uh, no, that's right. <laughs> Make room in your weapon collection. Talk. No, I don't want that Zora Spear. Uh, we're gonna go back down to Kakariko proper and talk to this dude. And hopefully get a reward? That's four. I mean, that, that should be all of them. Double check this. Yeah, he is just down below us on this path. Is that... That's not him on the horse, is it? Or was he in here? Double check. No, that's him on the horse! Wait, no. Take cover. You, it ain't you, is it? Hey, it's you. You're looking well. Without a doubt. Visiting ruins. Did you hear about them? The ring ruins. Oh. Easy to understand, but it's poetic uh. and travel in. Uh, no, he's to my right and down this way. You running away from me? You get back here. I've got things to say to you, and you would love to hear them. Hello? Oh. Hey there. Seeing the sights isn't less fun in the rain, huh? Did you visit, visit the ruins? No one's allowed to visit them. But if you read the stabs, tell me. I, I read oh. what wrote on all of them. So what did they say? They said a lot of things. Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protected the kingdom. I see. How fascinating. I bet those sages were nearly as strong and wise as the princess herself. Thank you for telling me about that slab. Truly fascinating. Just three left. I can only imagine what discoveries lie in store. Well, about that. You you saw more. 
What, what was written? Some more stuff. Oh. Well, there was once people blessed by wind, fire, water, and lightning, as well as time and light. Oh, and these people used secret stones to amplify their powers. Wow. <laughs> they must have had pretty amazing rocks back then, huh? Ah. Thanks so much for that. Oh, only two left. I got I got them. You had a chance to see more? What did you see? Uh, more more stuff? In fact, also, in this ancient battle, the king and all the sages fought the demon king, and they couldn't defeat him. Still, they tried to give a glimmer of hope behind for the people of the future. For us. That's really something, huh? Hey, you don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign of the Demon King's resurrection, do you? <gasps> Can't be right, I'm just overthinking things. I feel bad about asking you to find all this out for me since you're, you know, sightseeing too. But we're so close now. I'm so close! I need to know what each one of the slabs says. Well, I got one more bit of information for you. You had a chance to see more! I saw more! So it's not enough to be exceptional, you need a secret stone to be a sage. Or so it seems at least. But what is a secret stone? Is it special? I'm sure its beauty would put a diamond to shame. Well, that was the fourth one, I see. Hmm, wait a second. You look at all these slab messages together, don't they read like one single message? You don't think. Could the rest of the message be on a slab in the floating ring ruin? But why? Oh, this is impossible. Trying to figure this stuff out is making my head hurt. Oh well, at the end of the day, I learned a little something about our history. Thank you for everything. From one sightseer to another, I'd like to reward you with one of my personal favorite travel necessities. Gotta have a fistful of butterflies! Mm -hmm. Those are thunder wings. Caught the usual insects on my travels throughout the Faron region. They only come out in the rain. Like right now, you might be able to go get some. You can boil them alive with monster parts to make an elixir that grants you resistance to electricity. Remember that, it'll come in handy on your travels. Take it from me! Alright then, see you around. Goodbye, I'm gonna boil some more butterflies. <laughs> Alrighty, trip through history complete. Uh, we gotta get the... Uh, the porridge, though. We got a lot of complete quests. Goodness gracious. We got a lot of quests we still need to do, but... Where are we at? Gloomborn Illness. If I mark that one, yeah, it only takes me to where that lady is trying to cook up the porridge. It'd be real nice if she would give us the ingredients for the porridge. Instead, she's just like, I don't know, people off to the west have rice and milk. But I got the Sunday line. I got the special goodie that would provide your grandma some immediate relief from her condition. We'll talk to her one more time. Hopefully, she can see reason. I'm worried about your grandma. Let's make some porridge together. We can, we can, we can get doing it together. Give me some porridge! Rice, fresh milk, wild grains. Uh, I bought a bunch of... You have it. They travel the road to the west. You have it. G give me... You have it. Give me... Give me the porridge. I crave the gooey mess. In all honesty, not necessarily. In fact, I, uh, you know, I don't consider myself a picky eater, really. I eat pretty much everything. And I would eat porridge, but it's probably pretty low on my... Uh, I don't know, my, my favorites list, as it were. Uh, we will head once more. This is the west, is it not? No, that's the north. So we'll head once more to the west looking for the porridge ingredients. But on top to Toro, perhaps? We need to be able to investigate this. Oh. That whole story about Princess Zelda had me reeling. So I never introduced myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Toro. I'm here on Pyle's request to investigate the ruins that fell around this village. Oh. Princess Zelda's ordered everyone to stay out of the floating ring ruins. That's a hard thing to ask of us, but she's the princess. Nothing to do in the meantime but keep investigating the other ruins. Aww. Have you been to them yet? I sure have. Most of them broke apart on impact. Each stone site, we found an intriguing stone slab. Mm. If you ask me, those slabs will be key to unlocking the mysteries of Zonai civilization. You're no help, are you? And of course, you're not going to... Of course, it's raining. Everything sucks. You again, you suck. Get away from me. Princess's orders? Ooh. Princess Zelda said to stay away! Ah, I have glasses in a sweaty- ah, You are too close! Get away! Ah, oh, my goodness gracious. Ah, well you say you're feeling a particular, mm, particularly moist. Are you, Callop? You're lamenting your hydrated situation? Well, I have the thing for you. That's dangerous! Yeah, I'm gonna throw my weapon at you. No, I'm just gonna dry you off with a little bit of fire. Very good. <laughs> Hot! Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, well, it would seem that we are not meant to investigate that yet. 
And we don't have any, like, main quest for it, do we? Let's check that real quick. Crisis Hyrule, Regional Phenomena, Dragon's Tears, Find Princess Zelda. It's not equipable, only the Regional Phenomena is. And that sends us all the way to Gerudo Valley. Which, of course, we are going to get to, I suppose, before we do anything else. But I can't help but feel like these Ring Ruin things... Part of, like, a main quest, in a way. Like, it seems particularly important, given the whole fact that Zelda or Zelda's impersonator or... The spirit of Zelda, the same instance of Zelda, I believe, that met with the Rito people and the Gorons and King Dorfin, I think is the same the same individual, the same entity that's also doing stuff here and telling people to stay away from the Ring Ruins. It's not Zelda, right? Because whatever that creature or being or entity or spirit is, is not doing things in a way that, well, benefits the people. You know, if anything, it almost seems like they're outright trying to prohibit progress, right? That person, that Zelda, was behind the whole marbled rock roast disaster. The goodness knows that they're not decent. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a merchant! Hello! You smell like rice! Give me your rice! I require rice! And milk! Alright, don't leave me. Don't leave me dehydrated here. I'm buying. Alright, you go. Ooh, you have the things that I crave, and I'm just gonna take them all. I'm gonna take them all, and then some. I'm gonna take all your rice. Take all your milk and that milk. All right, I want that milk. I'm going to take all the hearty salmon because hearty is in the name, which means it would increase your maximum hearts. All right, that's a great good to have. Take them all. Give me them salmons. Yes, I want them. And everything else is garbage. That's fine. Well, I guess the Hyrule Bass could have been okay, but it's just a basic heal, and we do have a number of basic heals already. Oh, toe and blow me. There we go. Very good. That expedites our adventure here. Marginally, shaves off a precious few seconds, of course. We're not in any rush, right? There's no real time limit. Hey, frog. Get my pants. There we go. The frog is ours. Now, that's our fifth companion. Except, of course, we may consider boiling the frog. Don't worry, you Nobo, though. I'll never boil you. Because it wouldn't work, all right? You're a Goron. The boiling would be ineffective. Now... When we spoke to the granddaughter, she mentioned the recipe for porridge as being rice. We have, yes. Milk, we just have. We just have, just acquired. We have it, right? We got rice and milk. But then she also mentioned wild greens. Of course, we want there to be a certain gloom resistant or re re ooh, golden apple, golden apple, golden apple, or reviving effect, which is what we have the Sunday Lions for. But I am curious. Do we need to add the greens and the Sunday lions, or is it just simply the Sunday lions on top of the porridge ingredients? Or, you see what I'm saying? Like, is rice, milk, and greens the full thing, or is rice and milk the thing? I suppose we have extras to experiment with, and I'm just gonna do it with rice, milk, and Sunday lion to start, because I feel like that's gonna be the case. It just seems like too much plants in my porridge. I already mentioned I'm not really much of a porridge person. But man, you throw some kale and some spinach in my porridge, and I'll be even less likely to eat it. All right, that's some... I don't know what to think about that, man. That's some, that's some nastiness. You make a good noise here. What do we got? Sunny veggie porridge. Very good. Yep, replenishes gloom. I talk to you with it? Nope. Grammy, Grammy suffering. <laughs> What's that gentle aroma? Is that porridge in your pants? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with Grandma? Give it a try! Huh? I keep my porridge in my back pocket. That's fine with you, isn't it? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Except for my side-up eggs. But maybe this will help my grandmother. Maybe it will? Probably it will. Most definitely, mm -hmm. it assuredly will. Well, Grandmother, how is it? Ah. Oh, thank you, Leslie. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Oh. Grandmother, your complexion, the color's coming back to your cheeks, and your face, too. Oh, goodness gracious. What color? It's pale. It's relatively colorless. Hey, look, are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit, too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Grandmother, what are you doing up? <laughs> oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Hold well on. You're doing this much better. 
After one bowl of porridge? Well, yes, I knew it was Leslie's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Leslie. Huh? huh? You knew. <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Leslie. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hot No Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Oh, oh Clary, yeah. are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. And it's money. I want to make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko Village, right next to my beloved grandmother, and... Oh. I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, Leslie. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hatno Village and come back to us a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it. Thank you, Claire. Oh, and you, grandmother... Well, now that Grandmother's all better, I think it's time I head back to the shop. I've got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted yourself. Oh, you're going to give me a discount? Or even a free piece of clothing, huh? Since I saved your grandma. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty, though. I'd love to give her some to take to your journey. Energizing veggie porridge. I'll yeah. take that. I'm going to work hard for my big sister. Just watch, I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. Gloomborn illness complete. Um, don't tell me that the porridge was the reward. Will we just swap some, some sunny porridge for some energizing porridge? That would be a poor-ish reward, if I do say so myself, given the headaches that I, you know, had to en endure to reach it. But I am holding out hope. That Clary here is going to give us a good deal on some clothing. Things are already, uh, well, about one-tenth the price, maybe a little bit more, but significantly cheaper on average. Yeah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. Oh, it's you. Uh, prices are back to normal. Ah. Fashion World owes you a debt. Now, where was I? Uh, yes, we buy whatever you ah. need, so, uh, for a limited time, customers who buy from us will receive a special gift, so get shopping. Hmm. Hmm, so that's it then. We don't get the stuff. Well, I guess we'll buy some stealth stuff. Might as well. I like clothing. Now, what's my special gift for the stealth mask? My special gift is... And you fashion maven, you get a chic of fabric. A tough fabric bearing a chic of design. It looks like it'd be used to make a paraglider. Thank you for your patronage. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CZ brand fashion unless you go to Hat in the Village. Ah, uh, but you can't. You've got all the stuff here. Okay. Please, come again! Hmm, okay, well, I guess I'll just buy all this. We have the money. I've been saving money to buy clothes. So we will purchase all the clothing that we can. I don't... Will we be able to get all of the... This stuff as well? We've got, what, 3,800? That'd be 8, 16, uh, 24. Yeah, we can get it all. We're gonna be quite poor after this, but we do have some things to sell, I believe, so... I don't think we'll break even, but we, we're, yeah, we're financially secure enough for this. That being said, definitely want to uh, start making some more money pretty quickly so that we can, one, buy more clothes when we do come across them, and two, buy some upgrades to the house. All right? Yeah, give me give me, give me, me some, some patronage of my own now. Uh, where's my expensive stuff at? Diamonds, man. Diamonds are 500 each. Still going to hold on to them. We do have a lot of monster parts that we could sell. We got 35 teeth. Oh, we got 22 teeth. They're 35 each. I, well, that's not bad. It's not bad. We could make almost a thousand for selling them, but we can't sell dwarfin scales. You'd think that'd be immensely valuable. I plucked this right from the face of the king. How many people do you know would have any of these? With that said, what else am I going to do with it? I could fuse it to a stick and beat people with it, but I can't sell it. Amazing. I would like to sell all but one of my ambers. That'll bring us uh, 270 rupees, which would be nice. Uh, did you see that? The value for him went down. Has that always been the case? Uh, obviously, that's probably always been the case throughout this game, but has that been the case through, like, Breath of the Wild? Interesting. Capitalism infiltrating our entertainment as well. Isn't it sick? Um, where are the other gemstones? I, yeah, recently sold some, but I did pick up a few... Hope has. So I'm curious to see if it goes... What's it going to go to? It's going to drop down after we sell her these. From 80... 
Wait, no, wait, hold on. Go, let me go back up here. Did I not read that correctly for the amber? I have 21 ambers. I thought I had 10. They are 10 each. Goodness, giblets gracious. Ah! Thanks for bearing with me, people. Thanks for bearing with me. It's been a long episode. It's been a long day. I'm struggling a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, we're going to make it through together, you and I. And we'll sell her five of these opals. And man, we've got so many luminous stones. We did just buy the luminous outfit, which is what I thought the luminous stones were for. Hmm, let's sell some of these. We've got almost a hundred. We're going to sell 21. Mm, no, we're going to sell 31 of them. So we still have a immense 50. And this will bring us back up almost to 3,000 total rupees, which is a great number. If I do say so myself, and then everything else can remain on our person. So, we did, in fact, do what I wanted to do. We started a bunch of quests yesterday. We finished a bunch of quests today. All in all, we didn't leave Kakariko, but we are about to leave Kakariko tomorrow. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it. And, of course, as you already know by now... I hope that you enjoyed yourself. With that said, I'll see you again here tomorrow.